responsible. In my opinion, fairness, respect, and responsibility are the most important tra tra traits to have. You need to be respectful. You need to be fair to get along with people your age and when you are grown up working. You will need to respect your boss and friends if you want to keep them. Now and when you grow up, you will need to be you will need to be responsible. If you are not res responsible in your job, you will not get done what has to be done. Always be fair, respect everyone, including yourself, and be respectful to people and their property. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down on the bottom, you too should have some rights, is a quote by Dr. Seuss. Sometimes fairness is hard for young people to understand. Tr fairness means treating people the way you want to be treated. If you are fair, people will like, trust, and respect you more. Imagine a world where not a single person was fair. Everyone would be selfish and no one would care about you. If anybody promised to do something for you, the task would never get done. Sharing and taking turns are both simple ways to be fair. If you are fair, you listen to others' opinions, take turns and share, play by the rules. Four ways to treat people who are fair. Find ways to share. Ask people how to make things fair. Include others in games and activities. Don't leave people out. Respect people who are different from you. I never cared about acceptance as much as I cared about respect. There are two types of respect. Respecting yourself and respecting others. You can respect others by talking to them kindly and acting kindly to them. Instead of rolling your eyes when your teacher asks you to do something, say, yes ma'am, and do what she asks. When your mom asks you to stop watching TV and to help watch the dishes, immediately turn off the TV and go help your mom. Don't ask if you can watch 10 more minutes. You need to respect your elders. That is why you respect your teacher. To be, to be respectful, don't do these things. Don't insult, abuse, hurt, put down, mistreat, or harass others. Don't make unneeded comments on someone's appearance. Don't take advantage of other people. And don't hold back information that needs to, that is needed to make a decision. You can respect yourself by not putting yourself down and saying nasty words about yourself. Instead of saying, I can't do it, say, I'm going to keep trying until I can reach my goal. You can respect yourself by caring for your body, health, and mind. Another way to respect yourself is to not take silly risks just to be brave, like jumping from the highest rock into a lake when nobody knows how deep it is. I learned the value of hard work and persistence from my family, is a quote by Michael Jordan. A responsible person does what he or she promises to do. In that case, if you are responsible, then you are also trustworthy. You are responsible for your actions, good or bad. If you do what do your if you are doing your homework or chores your mom told you to do instead of video games, you are responsible. One time, while my dad was trying to hire someone, he looked at her records found that she had some driving tickets. He could not hire her because she was not responsible while driving. He did not have trust in her that she could drive safely while working. You are responsible for your words and your thoughts. You can choose to be uplifting or throw people down. You can control what comes out of your mouth. You can, you can also think of bad things about people or think of compliments. You will know that your feelings inside by thinking of compliments. Even if you do not say what pleasant thoughts you are thinking, you will feel better inside. Fairness, respect, responsibility. You can be fair by treating people the way you want to be treated. You can be respectful by not take, talking back to your elders. You can be responsible by, do, by doing what you promised to do. All of these, all of these are important character traits that will help you 